You want to get mods for Minecraft 1.20.6 like the ones you're seeing right now, whether it's adding biomes with Biomes of Plenty, whether it's getting furniture with Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, or whether it's just adding in new dimensions and new areas to explore with Blue Skies. It doesn't matter what Minecraft mod that you want to install. This video is the in-depth guide on how to install Minecraft mods, and we are going to be using Forge in this video. There are three major Minecraft mod loaders. Forge, what we're using in this video is one of them. Fabric is another one, and Neo Forge is the third one. Um, truthfully, it doesn't matter which one you use. I would recommend choosing a mod loader based on the mods you want. So find the Minecraft mods that you want, and then choose the mod loader that most of those mods support, because uh, you can't mix them. For example, Fabric mods don't work with Forge, and Forge mods don't work with Neo Forge. So you need to keep that in mind when you're getting and choosing your mod loader. In this video, we're going to be going in over Forge, but if you do decide to go with another mod loader, we've got videos on all of them, Fabric, Forge, and Neo Forge. So just go search the channel for those videos if you decide to go with a different one. Nevertheless, to download Forge, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth guide on getting Forge. We're going to go over everything in this video, but it is worth noting that if you have any troubleshooting or any FAQs or anything like that that you need questions answered for with Forge, this can be a great place to look. Plus, we do have a text guide on installing Forge if you prefer that. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on Download Forge, and it will take you to Forge's official download page. On this page, we want to make sure that 1.20 is selected, and then we want to check 1.20.6. Once you see Minecraft 1.20.6 here, come under download latest and click on installer and that will take us off to add focus. On this page you need to wait about 10 seconds so just put your hands in the air, wait about 10 seconds and don't click anything on this page. After about 10 seconds click the red skip add button that appears in the top right. When you click that you may need to save or keep Forge. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title which it is and click save. While Forge is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to the next way, C slash SGH, is your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. You can easily add mods to your server, and if you would rather play a mod pack, which is like a collection of hundreds of mods, well, you can install mod packs with just one click at Simple Game Hosting using our easy mod pack installer. Plus, if you aren't into any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out, so stop struggling to play modded Minecraft with your friends and play it the simple way using Simple Game Hosting. Get the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, Forge is now downloaded, so we are good to move on. And, and move on, I mean download our Minecraft mods. Now, there are two primary places you'll download Minecraft mods from. CurseForge is one of them, and Moderinth is another. What's cool about these is you can actually filter and select specific mod loaders and versions. So in our case, we would select Forge, and then we would want to select the game version 1.20.6. These are all the mods that are supported that we can install. Same thing can be done on Moderinth, right? We can select Forge, and then we can select the version 1.20.6, and boom, there we go. Now we can see all the mods that are supported. Now for this video, we're going to be installing three mods. The first is Journey Map. All three of these mods are linked down below as well as links to Curse Forge and Moderinth. For Journey Map, it's going to take you to a dedicated page on downloading it. Click Download Journey Map, and it will take you to Curse Forge, where you want to click on Files here, and then you want to find the 1.20.6 Forge version. It must be the Forge version, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This Neo Forge version, it's not going to work. You need the Forge version, just Forge, and it will work, and you will be able to install it as long as it is for 1.20.6. So click the three dots here and click download, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Just like with Forge, you may need to save or keep the file, and then we're going to download Tree Harvester. This is a uh, mod that allows you to quickly and easily basically take down an entire tree, and what we want to do here is the same thing. Go to Files, make sure we're getting the Forge version here, and some mods will do this. They will support multiple mod loaders with more than mod. That's okay. As long as Forge is mentioned, it will work, but if it's just one mod loader, it must be Forge. So as you can see here, we can click the three dots and click download file and this will download after a few seconds just like the other mod but there's one more thing worth noting here a lot of times mods actually require another mod to work so what I mean by that is if we go back to tree harvesters main page here we'll be able to see it requires the library mod collective if we had just installed a tree harvester this wouldn't work so we want to make sure that we are getting the required library mods in this case collective but sometimes mods like bombs of plenty will need another mod like terra blender to work so keep that in mind if you install a mod and it's not working, it might be because you're missing a, uh, another mod that it requires. Same process, go to files, make sure you are downloading the Forge version for 1.20.6, 
click the three dots and click download. At this point though, everything is now downloaded that we need to install Minecraft mods. We have got Forge, we have got our Minecraft mods, and they're all in our downloads folder here. So what we want to do is move these to our desktop. Don't worry, they're not going to clutter your desktop or stay there forever. We're going to have them uh, out of the desktop by the end of the video, but it's easier to work with these files from the desktop. Now, one thing that I want to mention is with 1.20.6, you need a new version of Java because as of 1.20.6, you need specifically Java 21. This is an update with Minecraft 1.20.6 that makes Minecraft use this version of Java. So in the description down below, we have this, which is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. Right now, we have it in both versions here, which is the version for 1.20.4 and below, and Java 21 for 1.20.6, but in the future it will just be Java 21. Luckily the installation process is the same for both of them. It's just clicking download and going to the download link for, in this case, Java 21 and downloading it. So for whatever reason you can't install Java and like open Java in this next step, that's why you need Java 21. And then we also have Jarfix here, which is uh, basically a file that will link once you've got Java, all your jar files to it. So first get Java 21, then run the Jarfix and you'll be able to go, good to go. You'll be able to open up Forge with Java. So right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. By the way, if you have Java here and you click OK and it doesn't work, it's because you need Java 21. But here we are with the Forge installer. We want to make sure that we click install client and click OK and Forge will install. The only reason it wouldn't install, by the way, is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.6 before. Make sure you go play it, just open it to the main menu and close out of it. Or Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. So you want to make sure that if one of those is open, they're closed before installing Forge. But as you can see here, we are now complete. We can click OK and it will close out of that. And you can delete the Forge installer from your desktop. We can move on now to installing our Minecraft mods. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And in here, we should have a Forge installation. If you don't, I'll show you what to do, but most likely you'll have a Forge installation. And if you do, you can go ahead and open a Minecraft with Forge and skip ahead in the video, probably 15 to 30 seconds. But as you can see, if we go to installations, we have Forge. If you don't, make sure modded is checked because uh, if, if it's not, it won't be here. And even if you were to create a new installation, it wouldn't be here. So make sure you check modded in the top right. And when you do, Forge is there. If you've got this, click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge, or it's not the 1.20.6 version of Forge, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name this simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play modded Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here. In here, you want to select the 1.20.6 Forge installation, and you can actually search in here as well for Forge, and there it is. I'm going to change resolution so you can see better once we get in game, and then click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is 1.20.6 Forge for its version. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Forge, and we can go ahead and get our mods installed. This is really, really easy to do from the Minecraft main menu. Just come in here and go to Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left, and it will open your Minecraft Mods folder. Now drag and drop any Minecraft 1.20.6 mods you want to install into this mods folder, right like so. But when we come back, into Minecraft, they're not here. And that's because unfortunately, every time you install mods, you'll need to restart your game. So we want to quit Minecraft and then reopen up the Minecraft launcher and then make sure that we're playing Minecraft with either the Forge installation or the installation that we created. Every time you play Minecraft, you need to use your Forge installation. Otherwise, your mods won't be active once you get in game. You also won't get this uh, cool Forge startup screen, which is a quick way to see if Forge is actually you know installed and working versus if you uh, might have accidentally launched with a vanilla installation. But from the main menu, we can go in and click mods, and here they all are. Tree Harvester, Journey Map, and Collective. We can go ahead and jump in game and give these mods a test. Luckily, Journey Map will just work. It'll just be active. Um, in a few seconds, we'll see in the top right, the mini map start to basically accumulate. And then we can press J to open up the full screen map here, which as you fly around gets filled out, which is pretty cool. You can also set waypoints, double click. This is our house, for example. You can change the color of the waypoint to anything that you want and then click save. And now we have, you know, this waypoint here for the uh, for the house, which is cool. So nevertheless, that is journey map. What about a tree harvester? Well, there's a tree right here. And uh, let's go ahead and harvest it. To do that, I quickly had to get an axe as well as switch into survival mode. Now we can go ahead and hold shift and mine this tree. And boom, there we go. It even auto replants it, which is pretty cool. So that is how you can get mods in Minecraft 1.20.6. And as I mentioned a few times, this will work with any Minecraft 1.20.6 mods. So whether or not it's tree harvester and biomes of plenty, or whether or not it is another mod, Alex mobs, or any mod that updates to Minecraft 1.20.6, this will work. 
So be sure to, uh, you know, install all the mods that you want. Nevertheless, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.